Now, what we have here is his and hers Mopars. This is absolutely beautiful. And the best part about both of these is they for sale from the Orange King himself. Let's also not forget, the only reason why we even got a Hellcat in the first place is because, well, in 2014, Ford released the 662 horsepower Ford GT500, and it was absolutely badass. Now, Dodge saw this and was like, Man, you got to be kidding. No, they take it back to the lab, boys. We got some more work to do. And came back with the 707 horsepower Hellcat. Now, they probably had men doing a whole lot of ball-headed hoe shit in mind. Because once they dropped this thing, dog, I think they were sold out the first day. And as far as the 392 right here, that's the perfect middle ground between the 5.7 Hemi and the, you know, 6.2 liter Hellcat. Naturally aspirated power is absolutely marvelous, bro. But do they like boost? Absolutely not. Well, the block does. The internals don't. This thing nastier than an Atlanta stripper's health records. This thing nastier than your wife when the bills paid. This... Challenger in particular is a 392 shaker. Now, why do they call it a shaker? More than likely, the SRT division was listening to some Lil Jon. Shake it like a salt shaker. Shake it like a salt shaker. So, you know what? That's what we're going to call it. The shaker. They probably call it the shaker because they predicted when you pull up to the club, women are automatically going to hop on top of your hood and start shaking ass all over your car. Supercharger wine sounds like a nun hiding a vibrator in her robe. You could already look and tell some poo shiesty was played in this car. You could look at this car and tell some YG Cable was played in this car. You could tell some James Brown, some 3-6 Mafia. And some David Ruffin was definitely played in these cars. Now, as far as the Charger, this thing goes for 50K. If you want to buy the Charger, it's 50K. It was a regular RT converted into a Hellcat. It's clean title, low mileage, and everything. As far as the 392 Shaker, this thing has a Whipple Supercharger, and he only wants 32000 for it. Now, as far as the seller, make sure you hit up Orange King 26 on the gram. I love you guys. Make sure you tap in with them if you like to purchase either the Hellcat or the 392 Shaker or both. Bro, that's that's not a super. That's just a rebadge BMW Z4. Okay, cool. If that's the case, the dude that cut your grass is your real daddy. This one in particular has down pipes, a tune, five inch exhaust all the way back. It has a CSF trans cooler, oil cooler, and intake manifold. And it goes zero to 60 in like 3.1 to 3.3 seconds. Now you're probably wondering, why did Toyota go with a BMW engine versus building one in the house? I mean, let's think about this for a second. Which one cheaper? Shoveling out billions of dollars to develop a 3JZ engine for a market that might not even exist by the time they get done developing it, or just knocking on BMW's door and going, listen, I don't like y'all, y'all don't like us. But let's get this money. They more than likely took the cost effective route and just bought a whole lot of engines to throw under the hood of these things. Does that make this thing a BMW Z4 rebadged? Mm, kind of. But what I will say is I will take this over the new uh, Nissan Z car. Like, I just don't like it. After looking at the specs, looking at the interior, looking at both of their curb weights, the Nissan Z is literally just a body kitted 370Z. That's all it is to me. It's literally a tuned version of the Q50's VR30 engine. Like, we living in the age of inline sixes. Would you believe me if I told you right now, Mazda has a twin turbo 3.3 liter inline six. Then you got um, the Hurricane engines that's supposed to be grazing the engine bays of the new chargers and stuff like that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how that's gonna go because, you know, Stellantis knows nothing. Nope, that's a whole nother video. We're not gonna go there. However, this thing right here makes 640 wheel horsepower. It's about like you want something that's absolutely capable, that's not a Hellcat or a damn Mustang GT or a Camaro or anything like that. Just go get a Super. Make sure you follow my bro A90 underscore Mo. I love you guys. God bless. Godspeed. This company called Boss House specializes in giving motorcycles BBLs. And what I mean by that is every motorcycle they create has a, either a big block V8 or a small block V8 making close to 600 horsepower, which is crazy. Bro, this bike has a deeper back arch than your wife after three shots of tequila and a female Viagra. And not only that, but it's about as bad as a five-year-old with a pissy diaper walking through Walmart by itself. Like, bro, <laughs> then this thing damn near open header, bro. This is probably the loudest damn thing that you've ever heard, like... Imagine just hearing this thing idle, bro. 
Man, what the fuck is that? You got to say it in all caps. This a big dick cam. That's what this is. Damn, that's a big dick cam? No, a big dick cam. This thing nastier than Queen Elizabeth popping coochie on the handstand. This thing nastier than Freddy Krueger and one of Sam Smith dreams. <laughs> Boy, if I own one of these on Bill Street, bro, expect me to keep some moonshine on me. I ain't gonna act right. I'm gonna show my whole motherfucking ass on Bill Street. Like, bro, damn, why that motherfucker sound like that, man? I got this slutty stage five cam. Cam so big, it sound like a bomb playing a banjo with your mom thong, because that motherfucker loose. So in the back of your garage, there's a 350 small block covered in bush cans and baked bean cans and shit like that that you ain't doing nothing with. And you also have a project you've been trying to get running for the last 10 years. I, I got you. I help you out a little bit. First things first, take that 350 small block and bore and stroke it to a 383 stroker. You can use this Eagle Street and Strip Rotating Assembly Kit. But before you buy this, make sure you have the right rotating assembly because some 350 small blocks are one piece rear seal, some are two piece rear seal. This Magnum 292H cam kit, Brodix heads, small block Chevy high rise intake, this Holly 4150 750 CFM carburetor. Some ARP head studs, main studs, and uh, MLS head gaskets. Along with that, the fucking oil pump. Please replace that oil pump. Don't take no chances with it. Don't build no 383 stroker and use a stock oil pump. That's absolutely stupid. This this combination will be good for like 380, close to 450 horsepower naturally aspirated. Setup like this would be good for like a third gen Camaro, what else, a G-Body, a Box Chevy, what else, a old Nova, just something you want to get going. I ain't did this in so long, let's get it. Look, get invited to reunions where lips loosen and now come a lot of excuses, usually beat you brutally, beautifully, fluently, y'all presumably. Say you fuck with me, half acid apologies, I'm the hottest commodity, modesty, mockery Got a stack of flows next to the folded clothes that I hardly need arguments with my mother I hardly see and they bother me Mashio told me quit overthinking, last one he ever counted on more in with Abe Lincoln Stay drinking, on moonshine, whipping an old Lincoln headshot They got more in common with Kennedy, common enemy entities, hide in disguise You built a wall full of hate and you painted with lies I'm like, God damn it, the American muscle addict I aim for his head like a cabbage, picking niggas I wanted a time Like this was Call of Duty, nothing you can do to me Let me stop <laughs>